Good morning, everybody. Well, it might not be morning, but it's morning for me. So, um, quite difficult for me to do this video today. Um, but we've said, uh, and I've always claimed that everything that we do within the fitness hutch is real life. And, uh, and I think it's important to show that we have integrity in what we do or what I do. Um, so, I guess we're just going to get straight into the video. There's no clickbait. There's no taglines. Um, it is what it is. Why have I decided to do a 72-hour fast? Um, and how is that related to update on Carnival? Well, it's that simple. Is It is early February. I took a break off the Carnival diet for Christmas. I've tried my hardest to get back on it, but I am really struggling, and I've fallen off the wagon on several occasions um, and not managed to maintain a very good diet at all. Um, sugar is really kicking my ass. I'm going to be honest, I've eaten, I keep going in the fridge and grabbing a chocolate bar, but then I'm mostly trying to eat the carnival diet as well. I really don't think it's good for me. Um, and I really fell flat this week because twice I've eaten a sandwich. Um, and who will shock Hollery is eating a sandwich. But those who know, those who are watching will know that um, that's just, it's, a, it's really not good. And I'm not even going to say a no-no for carnival. I'm just going to say that obviously bread isn't carnival. Bread is really bad for me. Um, it's not good for my stomach. It bloats me up. Um, and in my mind, it's a real failure. And I know that people who support me and my friends and family will say, well, you haven't failed. There's no such thing as failing. Food is food. It's not like you're an addict and you're taking drugs or alcohol. But in my mind, the fact that I'm trying to bring carnivore content to people and I can't even remain 100% carnivore myself is, is very disappointing to me. Um, However, I am still trying to, to, to live a carnivore lifestyle. I am trying very hard. Um, and I'm hoping that by doing a full reset, it's going to help me achieve this. Um, and I think part of that is going to be fasting. Uh, and it, I was at a sports event yesterday, and someone said to me, I was talking to this guy, and he said, oh, can you talk to me about training on a, on a keto diet? And I said, well, I predominantly eat a carnivore diet. And again, I didn't lie to him because I'm not, I would never have that. I, I, I have integrity. I said, I eat a predominantly carnivore diet. I do stray occasionally. Um, I didn't tell him how much it affected me. I, did, I didn't go into that deep, but I was honest. Um, and I said, you know, I eat this. This is, the, I mainly eat meat, eggs and cheese. And he said, oh, do you, have you ever fasted? And I said, no, I haven't. Um, and then two weeks ago, I was somewhere else, a, a work event, and someone said, oh, have you ever tried fasting? I fast once a week. And it just seems to be this new thing that everybody's talking about. And then somebody who inspired me loads is a guy called James Smith. Um, I'm sure most people or a lot of people watching this know who James Smith is. He did a video absolutely destroying the 72-hour diet, um, the 72-hour fast diet, um, uh, a couple of weeks ago and this was really the first time i'd heard about 72 hour fasting and i think that maybe the full reset might help me um i don't necessarily think that a 72 hour fast is the right decision for a lot of people and i'm not even 100 percent sure i can do a 72 hour fast <laughs> like it's a long time um, obviously i'll need to be able to drink water because it'll be really really unhealthy if i don't drink water but other than that, I think this week I am going to document the 72-hour fast, how it affects my weight, how it affects my mindset, whether whether I enjoy it, whether I'm really... I mean, I like food. My missus says, well, if you're going on a 72-hour diet, I'm moving out. She's because you get hungry if you miss lunch. Uh, and that is pretty much true. I like my food. I like to eat. Um, uh, so, yeah, that, that's where we're at. Uh, I think... Carnivore's been good. I really do want to stick to a carnivore diet. I feel good on a carnivore diet, but I don't feel good when I fall off the wagon and eat a sandwich because I've shopped rubbish. I, I come home the other day and I chopped rubbish. I didn't really have anything in. I didn't have any eggs. And they're one of my staples. My eggs are my go-to like bread. If I would normally have a sandwich, then I would have scrambled egg or an omelet. And I didn't have any eggs. And I bought some, um, I, I bought some bacon and... I, did, I just had bacon on its own and I just wanted it in some bread and I did. I made a sandwich and I felt like shit afterwards and I wish I hadn't. Um, but 
like I've said, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to bring you honest content. I'm always going to be truthful. There's a lot of people out there putting content out where I think, actually, are you really in carnivore? Are you really doing that? Are you really natural? And I think it's important to have integrity, and that's something that I've always spoke about. I'm going to record the footage this week. Um, I'm going to do a before and after of weight. Hopefully, end of this week, 72 hours are done. I'll be able to record the video, upload the video, um, and bring you guys some really important data on... 72 hours real life data not bullshit data because i don't do that i do honest um and and i think i've proven that by coming on here and i, I could lie i could still lie about the carnivore diet these carnivore videos on my youtube channel do do 15 have a look do 15 1600 views and i could just bang out bullshit carnivore videos three or four times a week and get loads of views and earn money off it but that's not who we are we've never done that we've never been them people um i'll bring you real life honesty with regards to the carnivore diet, with regards to fasting, with regards to everything that I do, because that's that's the right thing to do and that's the life we live. Um, so, so hopefully you have um, got some insight off this. I don't know how much value this video is going to bring anyone, um, <laughs> but it will give you. It's kind of a precursor to this seventy-two hour fast. If you've done a seventy-two hour fast and you're watching this video. Drop me a comment below and let me know how it went. If you're a bit of a fasting expert, drop me some information because I haven't got loads of information on what are supposed to be the benefits. I haven't even researched it yet. I'm going to be honest. I haven't done research into it. I've just heard that it's something that's supposed to be pretty amazing. Um, James Smith absolutely dogged on it. He hated the idea of it and said it was just ridiculous. Um, for me, what I'm hoping to achieve is just a reset. I'm hoping to get a body reset. So when I go back to when I fasted, the, the morning that I come off the fast, I'm going to hit bacon and eggs and water and electrolytes and hit it really hard and hopefully be back in the right mindset to achieve 100% carnivore, um, which is one of my goals. So if, you, so if you're on our Facebook group, it's called The Hutch, A Place for People. I will put a link in the description um, I talk about setting power goals then. You see, one of my power goals is to be 100% carnivore all of the time. Um, and I'm hoping that this 72-hour fast is going to give me a bit of a reset. Um, but it might not. It might be rubbish and I might hate it and it might make me change my whole mindset on diets and I might just go back to a normal diet. Who knows? Who knows? Nobody does, but we will find out. So stay tuned. Please check out the other videos. Um, please, if, you, if you're this and you're a carnivore and you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe to the channel. Um, it would be amazing for us to hit 3,000 subscribers and we're getting pretty close. Um, so thank you for watching. Thank you for everyone who continues to support us. Um, thank you for all the kind comments I will receive in the chat because I always do. Um, and hopefully, guys, we're going to get out of there, do a 72-hour fast to achieve our goals and choose life. Did I get eight?